guys, how is everyone today? It's another very cold but sunny winter's day here in the UK and I'm doing my best to keep warm as usual. Now, as many of you may know, I do make a lot of gluten-free cakes and one of the ingredients that's often added to these gluten-free cakes is xanthan gum. This is an ingredient you may have heard of or even used before in your recipes, but do you actually know what it is? Well, that's what I thought I'd talk to you about today. Xanthan gum is, as you've probably already guessed, a gum. It's a vegetable gum. It's not the kind of gum that you might chew on to get that minty fresh breath though. It's what we call an exopolysaccharide and basically what this means is that it's a long chain of carbohydrates. It's produced from the bacterium Xanthomonas campestris. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is where it also derives its name from. It's then precipitated, i.e. made into a solid using alcohol and then once it's completely dry it's ground into a fine powder. Its main use is to thicken liquids but it also has many other functions and it's quite a common ingredient that's often used in the food industry. For example, it stabilises emulsions and prevents oil separation that might otherwise happen in things like dressings and sauces, although it's not actually an emulsifier itself. It can also suspend solid particles in liquids, it can prevent purees from separating, it's often found in ice cream to keep it really nice and creamy and less icy. You might find it in toothpaste, kind of as a binder to hold it all together. It can be used in commercial egg substitutes and it kind of like can replace the fat and emulsifiers that are found in yolks, so it's often used in low fat products. One of the advantages of xanthan gum is that it has a very neutral flavour, so it's ideal for using in food products. In gluten-free baking, it can give that stickiness that you might normally get from using gluten, and it also helps baked goods to retain more moisture. When used at about 2-3%, it helps batters and doughs hold in gases for proper leavening, which gives a light and airy texture in baked goods. It also improves the cohesiveness and flexibility of gluten-free doughs so they can be rolled and stretched without breaking, so it's quite important when you're making gluten-free pastries, for example. So that was my brief introductory video to this strange ingredient that we call xanthan gum. If anyone has any questions, please do pop them in the comments below and I will more than happily answer them for you. I would love to do more videos on this topic. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can make more content like this and continue to share my business journey with you from my little cake shop here in the UK. Please do come and say hello to me over on Instagram as I love interacting with you guys over there. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye! La 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 la! It's then precipitate. Uh, precipitate. Flay, flay, flay. I can't talk.